Good afternoon. Welcome back to the Armenian Museum of America. I'm Gary Lynn Sananya, and today I'm going to um, give you a brief introduction to this symbol here. This is a Zildjian symbol. The Zildjian family are the world premier manufacturer of symbols. The family began the business back in um, the 15th century when the founder of the Kirab uh, went to Istanbul and became a, was a coppersmith in Istanbul, specialized in making cauldrons originally, the big pots. And he was so um, skilled at it, he became the official cauldron maker for the Sultan. Later in life, he lived to 96 years old. Uh, he opened a factory to make symbols, um, copper symbols. His son opened it in 1623. His son, Abadish, took over. And his son, Alphadish, was a bit of an alchemist and began experimenting with the copper symbols to see if he could improve the sound. And he figured out a formula that included gold and tin mixed in that gave a perfect tone to the instrument. And this is the famous Zildjian symbol. The family adopted the name Zildjian, meaning symbol makers, because that was the family trade. And this trade was passed down for over 400 years in the family. The current head of the Zildjian family is the 19th generation of Zildjian making symbols, Craigie, and the first female head. This is an example of the family, um, the factory moved to America when Abadi Zildjian emigrated to America, one of the family members, and it opened a family, uh, a, a symbol making factory in America. This is one of the first symbols that he made. Uh, you can see this, the right here, the marking that says Abadi Zildjian uh, symbol making and an Ottoman script above it, which was what they did in the old country, of course, the Ottoman script as well. They were the official symbol makers for the government. And inside here is the actual signature of Abadi's Zildjian as the original maker. Most of these symbols today um, have this, the famous Zildjian logo on, painted on it as, as part of the product. Uh, this book, Turkish Bands, Past and Present, you know, written by an Armenian Parstoglatsi in Istanbul. Uh, it gets, talks about Turkish bands in general. And of course the Turkish bands use the symbols in it. And there's quite a bit about the family itself, the Zildjian family, as the original makers of the symbols. This is dealing with the original branch of the family. Um, the Smithsonian made an exhibit on the Zildjian family, which uh, when the exhibit was finished, they gave the exhibit to the Zildjian family. It was actually mounted in the lobby of, the, of their building, so if you go in there, you can see this exhibit on the history of the family. This is a, a book about the Zildjian family here. Uh, this is dealing mostly with the, uh, well, there's some of the family members there making it, and the people that used it. Um, they, basically, every major jazz musician in this country has used the Zildjian symbol. Uh, it's they dominate the market, they're the best in the world. And so basically the Zildjians are still at it today. There's also another branch of the family, it's the Sabian branch, which is in, now in um, New Brunswick, Canada. And this is a, they're also from the Zildjian family and they're their own company, they have, so they produce it in Canada as well. Uh, but the Zildjians, you know, this is a family trade that goes back 19 generations. There aren't many family trades that can say that. Um, uh, the Armenian Library Museum is here to share our stories and culture with you, our listeners. We thank you for joining us, and we hope that you'll join us again. Until then, stay safe.